Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the flea market find series that I kind of abandoned a couple of months ago and never really got around to doing anything about it and it's just kind of been sitting there and well yeah I've been going to the flea market for the last couple of well months and haven't really found anything good but today the weather was just amazingly good and I went out there and spent a lot of money on a lot of stuff and now I am sitting behind a camera and I'm going to show you all what I got today. Just, yeah, as I said, the last couple of months, it's just been pretty meh when it comes to, you know, bargains and stuff like that out there. It just, there's only been like one or two things and it's like, do I make a video on? Nah, just leave it. But now I've got like a shit ton of shit to show you. So let's get on with the shit show. All right, so I went out to two markets today, my local one, and then one that's sort of about 20 or 30 minutes away. And the last market was pretty meh average uh but the first market was actually really really successful and the first item that i'm going to show you are these and you're probably like wow nah no 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 um i'm gonna dedicate these to one video themselves because i feel that is probably the most appropriate thing to do for these but uh yeah these were kind of just on a table and i jumped right at them and I paid $50 Australian for these. They're kind of a uh, five and a half, US five and a half. I think just a small tiny percentage of me thinks that they might be real, but we'll see. As I said, I'm going to make a dedicated video for these, which we carted up here. So you can click that uh, if you want to just go straight ahead and watch that. Otherwise you can just stay here and watch the rest of this unfold. But anyways, 50 bucks for them, Australian, which is like 35 US or some random thing. I mean, they're not going to fit me, obviously, but I got some off-white Converse. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, the second item is that. This is a uh, quotation, Gucci quotation and bag, which... Uh, uh, yeah, there's like zero branding on this whatsoever. Also, yes, I bought a handbag carry bag. It was embarrassing, I know. But I did it because I'm showing you guys. You guys tell me things. I'm learning. Oh, there's the Gucci branding right there. Let's, let's have a squeeze. There you go. When I found this on the ground, I pointed it out and the lady goes, yes. And I said, it's fake, isn't it? She goes, I'm not too sure. I got this as a gift. So... It's probably fake, because no one buys real Gucci for people. I mean, it could happen, but you never know. Feels nice, feels leathery and stuff, but the handles look pretty, uh... Mmm. Mmm. Stitching looks mmm as well. Uh, the bottom is... Very, uh, it's a nice background there. Here is a uh, nice wallpaper for your phone or your computer or something like that. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, it's, um, I'm pretty sure it's leathery. feels leathery. Inside of it, as I said, like, I didn't check this. I just seen it, and I just grabbed it, because why not? Oh, also, there's, like, little Gucci tag thing there, these leather bits. No branding. It's just that. Uh, inside, though, is just plain. That's it. There you go. That's inside of it. I don't think there's anything... There's no, like, tags or nothing. So I have a feeling that this is one of those ones that Colin of Broadcast probably sees for, like, 10 RMB, which is, like, stuff all. It's probably something like that. Oh, is it falling apart? Yeah, it's falling apart. That's okay. Well, this was only $5, so I don't really care. I just got it because it was Gucci, and you guys usually ask me to review other things apart from sneakers and tech stuff, so... Um, what do I think of this bag? It's a bag. It will hold things, and it was $5, and it's slowly, slowly collapsing. There we go. I don't know. It's a, it's a fucking Gucci bag. If this was real, and someone paid, like, two grand for it, like, uh, you, man, I got a Nike duffel bag that's the same size as this that I paid 20 bucks for, and it's, like, 10 times higher quality. But who cares? There you go. I have a Gucci bag now. What do I do with it? I have no idea, but that's the first one second one whatever the third hype beast item thing is a t-shirt now while it's really hard to show t-shirts in videos ta-da i feel like pablo 
Well, I don't really feel like Pablo, but that's okay. Um, the tag here is just XL, made in Thailand, made in Thailand. Okay, that says it all. Um, this was on the ground, random clothes on the ground. Like people just go to the market, just piff clothes on the ground and just let you go through it. It's just mountains of clothes just dumped on the ground and you just go through it. And this was on top. And I was just like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll have this. I opened the shirt up and I was like, ooh, XL, that'll fit me. Nice and stretchy, just in case. And I said, how much? Six bucks. So I think that's a pretty good deal, Leo. Even though, I mean, I know it's Kanye West and all that sort of stuff, but who's Pablo? Pablo Picasso, this bloke here. Him? Or some other Pablo? I don't really know. But um, it's a black shirt, and it has I feel like Pablo, and then Pablo, 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 at the back. So uh, yeah, but there's no other branding. Nah, nothing else. Uh, that's that's how I fold t-shirts, by the way. Uh, yeah, six bucks. I reckon that's a pretty good deal. I think, anyways. From now on, it's just gonna be all tech. So if you just wanted to see the high beast items and stuff. That's what you've seen. And if you want to see the uh, Converse Off-White review, that has been carted up here the whole time. But yeah, if you want to see the tech stuff, it's going to be happening right now. So feel free to stick around. If you don't, you can just, you don't have to. Up to you. Up to you. After walking up and down the aisles of the first market, I stopped at a guy's stall. Um, I kind of know him, sort of. I mean, he knows me and says hello to me all the time. So I guess he knows me if that makes sense. Um, and he had a box that just had a whole bunch of random stuff in it. And I was like, okay, cool. And so I went through it and, uh, well, let's just, look. ta-da, PS4 controller. It's a little ratty, but it's a PS4 controller. Um, does it glow? No, it doesn't. Now, I've already got two PS4 controllers. One's a standard one, and one is this fuck-off bullshit one, which <laughs> I got this one for 10 bucks, and I was just like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's, uh, it's a little over the top. Sadly, there's no Thanos. Damn it. But uh, this one, I mean, it's white, and it looks cool. All these Xbox controllers, all that... 25 bucks, so five bucks each, which I can't complain, honestly. Five bucks each with even the wires to make the wireless ones wired is pretty cool. And that's with um, two of them as well. So that's actually fairly good. Condition wise, like, that's missing the rubber on the uh, joystick. I mean, that's pretty stuffed there. But you know what? I've got parts for Xbox 360 controllers, so I can just swap and change them and all that sort of stuff. And these aren't really in the best condition, but I just thought, stuff it. Why not grab them? They're 360 controllers for five bucks. As I said, I've got parts for them laying around everywhere, so I can swap and change if I need to. But it was mostly this. Even if this doesn't work, it's probably just a battery issue or something like that. Really, it doesn't matter. But what, brand new? This is a 50 bucks or something like that. So to get one for five bucks or just say 25 bucks or 20 bucks for this and five bucks for all them, it honestly, it doesn't matter. I'm happy with this. That's mainly what I wanted. So it was pretty cool. And now that same guy also had a mobile phone. This is a HTC Dream, I believe. HTC Dream or no, hang on. HTC Magic, I think this one. I'm actually not too sure. Um, I do have two of these already, but I don't have a Vodafone branded one. So that's pretty cool. Does it turn on? The answer is no. If I cleaned it up a little bit, it's in fairly good condition. A little trackball and all that sort of stuff. I think it's probably an Android 2.2 device, I think. But you just, you know, take this off. There you go. Ta-da. No micro SD, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. $5 for this, can't really complain with that, to be honest. I do have the original HTC G1, the first Android phone that was ever released. I do have that boxed. And then this was the second Android phone ever released, I believe, I think. I think it was, anyways. I will fact check while I'm editing. I'll definitely do that. But uh, yeah, just good to add to my phone collection, which is just ridiculously big now. So yeah, that was that. And the next one is a flipping iPad. Uh, this one was in the box of just random stuff, and I looked at it, and it's, uh, well, it's, it's got a few cracks on it, and I just went, ah, how much do you want for it? Ten bucks. All right, sweet. Okay, cool. So, at the moment, it doesn't do anything. I don't know if it works, iCloud, whatever. 
As I have said in many of my other flea market finds videos, I never like buying Apple products because most of the time, 99% of the time, it's iCloud. So I have a feeling that that's what this is. But I'm going to stick a charger in it, see what it does, and then uh, we'll come back to it. Progress! Yay! Oh, uh, hey. At least it does something. But we'll come back to it. Come back to it. These things take like an hour of the charge, just to like 2%. So that's fine. Also, I got this Radius case. Uh, I don't think I'll keep this because I r really I just, I don't think. I, nah, don't need. Speaking of Apple, mmm, I have an iPhone 6S here with a cracked display, but the back of it, look at the back of it, it's like mint, not a single, s okay, I take that back, there's a bit of a scratch on it, but it just, it just, it's in good condition, it's just the screen's cracked. Uh, now, the guy out of the market kind of went on a convoluted story that he was going to get the screen replaced, but it was too expensive. But he's still using a cracked screen iPhone 6. Then he said it's not iCloud locked, and it doesn't have a password. He tried to restore it via iTunes, and it didn't work, and that there's all lines and zigzags on the screen. Does that just... You know, I'm just going to plug it straight in, and we'll just see what it does. Oh, okay. I do see lines and zigzags. Gotcha. Yes. Ah, Okay. I think that screen is pretty much, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty stuffed. I do have a replacement screen though. It's just sitting on the ground. So I'll, um, I'll replace the screen on this, see if I can get it working, but I think it should actually work. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I mean, I'll just keep it charging and then uh, I'll replace the screen on it. And then we'll come back to this one as well to see progress. So I'll leave that charging to the side and we'll continue on. Oh, but before I move it to the side, uh, he wanted 50 bucks for this. Now, 50 bucks for an iPhone 6S 32 gig is actually a very good deal here in Australia anyways, but I managed to get it for 40 bucks, which I think is a very good deal for 40 bucks. It's worth that in parts, you know, if someone wanted to use the motherboard or the battery or something like that. I mean, it's all here. The back is pretty mint condition. So if someone wanted to, you know, replace the back cover or something like that of their iPhone 6S, it's all here. Um, so yeah, 40 bucks. I think it's, I think it's worth it. I have spent more on iCloud stuff. So, you know, anyways, the next two items are two shitty digital cameras. I don't know why I bought them. No clue whatsoever. I just bought them because they're only two bucks each. And this one is just extremely square looking. There's a digital Ixus 70, uh, but this actually switched on. That's why I bought it, because I'm like, oh, it switches on. That's actually kind of cool. There is a memory card in here, just there. Uh, but this one here is a Panasonic Lumix. Does it have a memory card? Nope, it doesn't. But I can charge that up, see if it works. I don't know if it's any good or not. I just literally picked it up because it was two bucks and mm, looked all right. So, yeah. But this one looks just, it kind of looks like a GoPro. I'm not tripping, am I? It looks like a GoPro. I'm definitely not tripping. Definitely. It looks like a GoPro. The next one is a Huawei. Huawei. Hui we Huawei. Yep, one of them. This was just in a glass cabinet from a dude who kind of seems a little bit angry all the time. He's very, very angry about anything he tries to sell. Uh, he wanted 80 bucks for this because of, you know, it's all cracked along here. I managed to get him down to 60 bucks. Only because... I was able to switch it on and have a look at it. However, it has a Huawei ID lock. So you can go through the setup normally, but then it comes up with this phone was connected to a this name here, Huawei. Uh, ID account, you can't continue, blah, 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 blah. But by using the power of Google and some other YouTube videos, it is actually possible to bypass the Huawei ID lock. Um, so I will do that and I'll just agree to everything. I haven't seen this before, so it'll be a good sort of learning experience for me to um, get through this, to bypass it. So, um, but yeah, this is a, I can't really remember exactly what it was called, but it's a BACAL00, which I'm not sure, but I did look at the specs while I was there and I was kind of like, oh yeah, yeah, cool. That's USB-C as well, which is fairly good. Headphone jack as well, nicely appreciated. Uh, I thought I switched that off. 
So yeah, once again, I'll see if I can bypass that and then uh, I'll show you guys if I can actually bypass through it or not. And it comes with a free case. Free cases are always appreciated, even though it's got a cracked screen. It's got a case though. And the last, last, last item is this here. This is a Q Mobile Q55. Yes, right there. Made with Shroff's, hang, hang on. Um, Australian accent is going to be terrible here. Uh, Shwar 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 fuck. Swarovski. 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 This is horrible. Okay, and it's a zirconia. I got that right. Zirconia. Swarovski. Swarovski. I don't know. I've heard it so many times, but I, I can't pronounce it. I'm sorry. Uh, it, it's, it's she. Or it could be G, but yeah. I just realized it has a mobile number at the top just written there. Um, I might have to blow that out. Oops. Uh, anyways, um, navigation keys made with yep, compact vanity mirror. Size zero. Didn't know phones had a size by letters or numbers. Okay. It's a Q55. Features. Navigation keys made with that stuff. One touch launch Facebook. Ooh. Multi instant messenger. Ooh. Two megapixel camera. Ooh. Preloaded opera web browser. Social networking consortium. Consortium is such a fancy word. Yep. There's the uh, 17 IMEIs printed on there because it's a dual SIM. And yeah. Now, I kind of did look at the phone when I bought it. And then when I got to the car, I kind of looked at it again and I realized, oh shit kind of stuffed up on this one but it's okay it doesn't matter uh, so that's the device there but where's the keypad i wouldn't get to that inside we get a bunch of paperwork oh okay oh hang on a second i think that's indian i think 8200 is that 8200 rupees i think 2011 holy shit um, I'm going to have to look up that because if that's from India and if that's rupees, 8,200, I don't know what that is in other currencies or inflation, all that sort of stuff. But, uh, okay. So it's from 2011. Fair. Um, oh, Jesus. Uh, an old warranty instruction booklet here. Uh, yeah, just, just, yeah, just send that to us and, um, we'll take care of it. Scratch and win. I didn't win anything. Um, we do get instructions though, and we're just going to do this. Do we understand what's going on? Great. And then we also get some really shitty earphones, but that's okay. Um, oh, hello. We get a two gigabyte micro SD card. We also get a driver CD. What does it look like? The She Driver CD. That rhymed unintentionally. Uh, we also get one of the uh, SIM tray bits. There's also, uh, a, I think it's a staple. So yes, this device here, there's all the crystals. All the zirconia crystals made from Swarovski. That'll do. You got a four-way directional pad with a center key and a left and a right. Uh, nothing around there, nothing around there, nothing around there, nothing around there. That is what I looked at in the car. I looked at the USB port and went, oh, somebody just fucked that right up. So, um, but it's okay. I, I have something to, um, to fix that. There's the back of it there with a the little floral pattern. Maybe that's like printed everywhere. There's a two megapixel camera on the back, as well as the little speaker grill thingamajiggy. Now, if we find where pop this off here, that made sense. Inside we get the battery here, which is an 850 milliamp hour battery. This is supposed to go in here. Yeah, I don't really know how to put that back on, to be fairly honest. Micro SD card slot is just under there, I believe. And uh, the best part of this is it has a mirror on the back. So you can take photos and actually see yourself in the mirror. How cool is that? But uh, that's the phone there. That's the layout. And you've got the QWERTY keypad as well as some little shortcuts and all that sort of stuff. I could probably type on that for a while, maybe. It reminds me of, um, there's a Motorola flip out. I think it's called a flip out. It's like the same form factor. It just does that. It's got a touch screen on it. Um, Android 2.2, I think. Pretty much like same premise of this. And there's like an Alcatel one that does this as well. But it's just a very cool thing. You just flick it open and yeah, that's pretty cool. So 
What does that mean now? That means I'm going to charge that up. I'm going to get the iPad going. I'm going to see if I can bypass the Huawei thingamajiggy. And I'm going to change the screen on the iPhone. And then I'll continue on. And then we'll do a tally up. And we'll finish this video. Because it's going on too goddamn long. So I'll be back in a split second. You won't ever notice. It's fine. Okay, so progress update. The Huawei is... I can't do anything, so I'm going to contact someone who kind of does and see if they can help me with it. But otherwise, yeah, I can't bypass it, which kind of sucks. Uh, the iPad is an iPad 2, and fittingly, it has a Hulk smashing the glass. But uh, the touch is, like, completely screwed. I mean, it works. I think it's just down here. It just works. Yeah. No, it just dies. Uh, but it's only 16 gig, and it comes up with a passcode. I would probably guess it's iCloud locked, so that one is probably a write-off. This one, on the other hand, doesn't fucking work. The guy's like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, it doesn't have iCloud. Yeah, bullshit. Um, yeah, you boot it up, and um, it's at the welcome screen. You go next, next, connect to a network, and then it comes up. Your device is iCloud locked, blah, 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 and thus it is absolutely useless. But as I said, I can just put it on eBay for parts and just be like, hey, look, it's iCloud locked, so all you can do is basically nothing with it except use parts and whatever. If I can get 50 bucks back for it, then I'll just do that. I haven't tried the cameras. And I haven't tried the other little HTC thingamajiggy, but I have put some juice into this battery. So I want to see what happens if we put this in here and we boot it up. I want to see what it does. All right, here we go. Does it still work? Oh, nice. It still works. I don't know if it's going to ask me for a SIM card or not, but... The, the... Future is now. Oh, that's nice. Is it touchscreen? No, of course it's not. Um, okay, well, it looks like the standard one, which is just, like, a Java operating system. Yeah, this thing is really difficult to control. But, uh, it works. What's the camera look like? Garbage. There's all the apps that it was talking about on the box. Yep, so it's pretty much just a generic phone, just with crystals built into it. Okay, well, that was, uh, pretty fun. What happens when I do this? Ooh. Ooh. Nah, nothing happens. Okay, well, uh, that was fun. That'll be a fun little novelty to hold on to. Yep. Fair enough. Alright, so that's basically it. So let me just tell you everything that I bought today. So we have the off-white uh, Converse shoes for 50 bucks. We have the Gucci bag for 5 the I Feel Like Pablo shirt for $6, the whole bunch of controllers for 25 the iCloud Locked 6S, which sucks, for 40 uh, the iPad for 10 the HTC for 5 the two cameras for $4, the blah, 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 Zirconia phone for $5, and if there's anything else I'm missing, I'll add it here. And that brings us to a total of, that's a lot of money that I spent today on crap. Anyways, I think that will do it for this video because it's gone on too long. So, um, yeah, the full review about those Converse Off-Whites will be carded up here, as I've told you about a million times now. There is content coming, but I'm waiting for it all to be delivered. Things from China are just taking so long right now, and it's just, it's infuriating. And I'm waiting for some stuff from some sites to settle and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, once all that's done, there'll be stuff getting uploaded. But now it's just kind of this and that, whatever. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed it. Anyways, regardless, sometimes you guys like watching all this rambling, relax, show and tell, chill stuff. And that's really it. Anyways, um, you can follow me on Discord. Uh, that is in the description. Or you can follow me on Instagram. That is in the description. And that's pretty much it. That's in the description. Thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Just make my camera go all weird and out of focus. Uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video, which should be sneakers, most likely. Maybe tech. I don't know. We'll see. All right. That was a long outro. See you next time. Bye. Why did I buy this for?
could have spent $40 on so many other things, but no, I decided, no, I'm going to believe this guy that's like, oh, yeah, you know, I clap, and I was like, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, I'll believe you 100%. Fucking. From the dead. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.